What's happening, everybody? Welcome, Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are back. My mic is working correctly today, and I apologize for that last video, but I had to do what I had to do. Anyway, we are inside of Game Animation Sample Project for Unreal Engine 5.6 Preview, which has just been updated. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking the brand new MetaHuman Creator, creating our MetaHuman, and then putting the MetaHuman into the Game Animation Sample Project as the character. So let's jump right into this. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open up our plugin folder and make sure we have the proper plugins to support the new features. Now there's only two that you're gonna to have to add. One is chaos, as you can see here, type out chaos and scroll down till you see chaos outfit asset. Make sure that is checked on and just simply say yes. Next, we wanna type in metahuman and you wanna check off definitely the metahuman creator. I would recommend turning on any of these that you feel you're gonna use. Right now I'm experimenting, so I'm just gonna turn them all on. And then lastly, we have one more. Type in texture, go down and look for texture graph. You're gonna to wanna to turn this on as well. After this, we're gonna go ahead and do our restart and I'll be right back. Now that we have our plugins installed, we should be able to create a MetaHuman. And we're gonna do this by going into our folder here under MetaHuman Creator. If you do not have a folder, titled this you can just create it uh, right click inside of the folder and then you want to go all the way down to metahuman and you want to click on metahuman character and you can name your new character my new character whatever you want to name your character i'm name mine my new character I'm gonna actually start with this character. If you've watched my previous video, then you've already seen me do all of these things with the character, but we're just gonna do it from fresh, brand new, and from scratch so that I can walk you through every step. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and you're gonna notice that you have presets. We can choose one of these presets if we choose. I am gonna use one. I like the Cameron character because I like the new braids. So I'm gonna select that character as my starting base character. So there you go. And you're gonna to have to wait for everything to start up here, including the hair. It takes a little while for it to pop in, but you'll see you have your character and you have the character in some basic clothing. We're gonna go ahead and wait. Here we go. We got our braids in. Now, the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is go down to our body. And if you like the way the body is already shaped, you can keep it the way that you have it. If you do not like the way that the body is shaped, you can go ahead and put in some different body types so that you can customize the body to the way that you like by simply dragging and dropping from these presets that are already down below and you can mix and match the bodies however you would like. And then go ahead and you can highlight whatever part of the character that you want to change and we can rotate around and change that part, just like you saw in my previous video. All right, once you have the settings that you want for your character and you have the body type that you want for your character, uh, you can go down to the face if you wanna do a little customization. And I'll go ahead and do a little customization on the face just to give everyone a chance to at least create a character. I'm assuming we can do something fast here um, unless you're really just trying to craft, take your time, pause the video, do what you want to do and come back. I'm going to go ahead and just do some minor changes to the character here. And we're going to change the mouth up here a little bit, do the chin. All right, and then I'm going to be done with that for now. I just want to go ahead and we're going to go down to materials. And here you can add your freckles and anything like that that you want to add to the character. You can add them here. And of course, change the skin tone and things like that. So if any of that is something that you want to do, you can do that here. You can take care of your eyes here. All right, we're just going to do these. And of course, we can go in and tweak the eyes. I'm not going to go through all of that. You guys can take your time on yours, like I said. Uh, teeth and eyelashes. We're just going to leave those the same. Next, we're going to go down to the hair. I'm gonna leave my hair the same. Eyebrows, I like those two, I'm gonna leave those the same. I'm just gonna leave everything the same. I'm gonna add a mustache though. So let's see what we got here. We got some mustaches and beards. So I'm gonna add a mustache first. So I will add this one. And then next, um, we are going to add our beard. 
And what do I want to use for a beard? I will go ahead and we can select this one. So now we have our mustache and our beard, which is really nice. Now we can go to our details panel and in your details panel, you can actually adjust the colors for things. So here we have a uneven beard and you can actually adjust the melanin, the redness, all of these features you can adjust in here and they will update right away. Um, you can add whiteness if you want the character to have whiteness in the, in the beard. Um, I'm just going to color my beard, probably just going to, I'm going to make it the tips red here. So let's go like that and you'll see we got a red beard. All right. And then these are the dye colors. We got the eyebrows as well. So the eyebrows, I'm just going to have them stay like they are. They look fine. Then we got the eyelashes here. I'm going to leave those alone. We got the highlights color. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make the highlight color be red as well. We're going to say, okay. And then I'm going to go to the highlight variation, which you can use this to turn up and you'll notice it slightly. Some of the things that are happening are very minute. We're going to change the highlight intensity to be up a little more. And then we got to click use highlights and then you'll see those highlights pop in. All right. So that's the highlight intensity and we could turn that up or down. We're gonna just go ahead and leave that at normal. And then you got the variation there and the variation, I'm gonna turn it all the way up there. We got variation. We got the U and the V, so you can adjust how high or low these are, which I'm just gonna leave that alone as well. Now we're gonna go down to the uh, mustache here. I'm gonna make the mustache be the same color as the beard. So we're gonna make that red. All right, so it's kind of like fading down into a little bit of redness. That's what we're doing. Um, we got our dye color here for the hair as well. So remember, we can change that. And then the ombre color, which is here, we can change that as well to whatever we want that to be. All right, so see, now you can see that redness flowing through. Now it looks a little bit more like we want it. All right, and I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to zoom out. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is you see it says hair and clothing. We can go down and we can go ahead and at least color these clothes. I'm going to go for the uh, bulls colors here and do red and black. And I'm going to back off here and we're going to do the threading will be black. And then we're just going to do the opposite for the shirt. We're going to make the shirt be black and then we're going to have red stitches. So now we have our color and our character and some basics. Next thing we want to do is actually put the character together. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do before we do that is you want to pick your textures, um, whether you want to download 2K, 4K or 8K. I'm just going to go with 4K for right now. And it's going to take it a little while to do this because it's going to download all the textures that you need. While this is assembling, I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll be back when this is all completed. All right, it wasn't that much longer. Well, we have everything done now here. So now we should be able to see our character. Character is barefooted, just like we like them. Um, let's go ahead and we are going to assemble this character now. This is where you decide whether you just wanna create a joints only rig or you wanna create a full rig. I usually like to do the full rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the full rig. Now this is gonna take a while to do. It's gonna rig the face and it's going to rig the body. It's going to rig everything so that obviously you can use this character uh, with your live link and animate the character's face. Anyway, while this is happening, I'm going to definitely pause and I'll be right back. We don't want this video too long. Now, once you have rigged your character, the next section we can go to is the assembly of the character. Here you will decide what type of character you want. Do you want a cinematic character? Do you want a UE optimized, a UEFN export or DCC export? We are going to go with the UE optimized. That's what I'm going to use here. And I'm going to just use high and we are going to select our folder, which our root directory here is the game metahumans. And I'm going to put my character's name and we're just going to keep the camera name. All right, and then over here, you can actually select the setup here for your character. So I could say, 
um, they have template animations that we can use or we can use a specific animation. Also here, we can use specific animations. We can use sequences, live link, or we can put none. If you put none, then it won't do anything with animation. So it's up to you what you want to do. Since we're going to make this into a character, I would rather just use none. So let's go ahead and we're going to assemble the character now and it should save it to your MetaHuman folder. If you have other MetaHumans in your project that you imported, it may give you a warning about uh, those characters breaking possibly if they're not compatible with this character. Anyway, we're going to pause again right here and I'll be right back. Once you have assembled your character, we're going to want to do a save all. So let's do a save all and let it save. As you see here, it says 126 unsaved items. So we want to go ahead and take care of that. That'll also help to prevent crashes. Once you have everything saved, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go into our folders and in our folders, we should be able to go to MetaHumans. And now you should see your MetaHuman persona in the folder mine here is cameron so i'll open it and then we can double click on this and you're going to see your metahuman all assembled just as if you downloaded it from the old metahuman bridge online so there we go there's our character completely assembled the next step is we are going to want to put this character as the main character in the game animation sample project. So let's go ahead and start that. We are going to want to first find the character that we want to use. Uh, let's go to blueprints, set my color here. So I know that's a different folder that I want to use. And we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to go to our retargeted characters. And under our retargeted characters, I think the easiest one to use would be the actual MetaHuman since it already has all the parts. And we'd literally just be copying what is there. So I will duplicate this and we're gonna name this uh, CVP and I'm gonna put Cameron right here. So once we got our uh, CBP sandbox character Cameron, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. You name yours, whatever you wanna name your character. Now, once we have this character open, I'm going to split the screen here between these two characters. So now we have our two characters and this character should already be rigged and everything. Now we could change this up. We could do this in a couple different ways. I think the easiest way is just going to be to take this body and we're going to delete it and we're going to replace it with our body from Cameron. All right, so let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to delete this. And we need to delete all of the other parts, the legs, torso, feet, everything. We're gonna delete all of it. So now we don't have a character here. We're gonna go ahead and take our character body here. And we're going to select all of its parts and we're gonna paste them onto the mesh here. So let's press paste. And you will see that the body and the other parts are not connected to the mesh. We want them to be connected to the mesh as they are here. Now we can go ahead and move them to where we want them to be. So what I'll do is just set this to default and then set this to default. All right, next thing we can do is we can go ahead and we can compile this and we're gonna pick our animation blueprint that we want. And we should have the same one that we were using in the original character, which should be our generic retargeter. So go find your generic retargeter in the folder. You will see it under the retargeted characters. All right, we're gonna go ahead and compile this character and save. Once you have chosen your anim retargeter as the ABP generic retarget, we want to go ahead and open that retargeter and inside the retargeter, we're going to go to the retarget options. So we go to our retargeter maps, which are here, go to details and it should show you six maps here. We just want the one that works for metahumans it may take a second to load up as it's doing here. So now we should be able to go down and you should see RTG UEFN to metahuman. All right. And it says normal weight or whatnot. So. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy this. And what we wanna do is go to our body and we want to create a tag for our body. So I'm gonna go here to our body and we wanna type the word tag and we wanna add a tag and we wanna go ahead and paste our tag that we just copied from the retargeter into this. And you'll see your character change up and it looks like something's not working. It looks like some body parts are not working, but we'll get that working in a second. 
Now, once we've done that, you can see that the clothing mesh is not following. You can also see that the body is a little bit different now in these metahumans where the arms uh, and the feet and legs, they are all just in the body. They're not separate components anymore like they were. So now what we're gonna have to do is get this clothing item to follow as well. Now we wanna be sure to copy our metahuman component over as well. So make sure you copy and you can paste that over here as well. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your construction script and anything you have in the construction script, you're gonna to wanna to delete that. All right, we can compile. And we're gonna to go to the viewport and you're gonna see that the clothing is still not matching up. What we're gonna to do to solve this problem is we are gonna to go to the construction script and we wanna make sure that there is no animation or anything set for this skeletal mesh. So we can take that off. We don't want anything on this mesh. And we are going to, in the construction script, type in leader and set leader pose component for the skeletal mesh here. So that's what we wanna do. And we want the leader pose component to be the body so that this clothing follows the body. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the body in here and we're gonna connect that up. I usually put force update, you don't have to. Go ahead and compile that and then you're gonna see that the clothing, now we can go ahead and make this the full screen here so that we can see now that our character is set up and it's working. Anyway, what we wanna do now is actually go into our project. So we're gonna go ahead and shrink this window down, shrink this down, and now we are in our project, let's just do a save all just to be safe. It's 47 unsaved items there. Next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we're gonna go to our world settings. And instead of just setting this how we have it now with the sandbox character, we're gonna actually choose our character. So we're gonna choose our, mine is the sandbox camera and you choose whichever character or whatever you named your character. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press play and try it out. And there you go. Looks like our character's in. Let's make sure all the movement works. You can see the hair bouncing, looks really good. Physics on the hair looks amazing. Oh yeah, and that's everything. That looks like that's it. And you have your MetaHuman inside of the game animation sample project. So that was a nice little smooth one. In the next video, maybe I'll do something more intricate. We'll figure it out. But that's all I got for this one. Be sure to like, subscribe, share the content, hit the notifications so you know when I drop new videos and I'll be back with another one. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.